sadakta kabisa bana mambo vipi natumai kwamba upo salama ujambo na karibu ni kusogezee karibu yale ambayo yameweza kutokea katika taifa lako tukufu la Kenya katika serikali ya bwana William Samuiruto vita vimeanza hadharani wameanza kusomeana hadharani deputy president Rigathi Gachagua na Moses Kuria wameanza kusomeana hadharani sasa hivi Bwana Moses Kuria ambaye ni waziri wa public service amechapisha ujumbe ambao anamsomea deputy president Rigathi Gachagua kwa kuweza kuhusika kwa kuchochea kutimuliwa mamlakani kwa gavana wa kaunti ya Meru ambaye ni mama Kawira Mwangaza Unaona ile jinsi ambayo William Samoiruto alikuwa anamtusi Rais Mustafa Uhuru Kenyatta kipindi kile ambapo Rais Mustafa uh, Uhuru Kenyatta alikuwa mamlakani William Samoiruto naye alikuwa mamlakani lakini sasa yeye akaamua kumtusi Rais Mustafa Uhuru Kenyatta ndio hiyo hiyo jinsi ambayo Moses Kuria sasa na Rigathi Gachagua wameanzana kutusiana hadharani na inaonekana kwamba vita hivi havitaenda kuisha hivi karibuni Kumbuka kwamba mama Kawira Mwangaza aliweza kuondolewa mamlakani siku ya Jumatano kipindi ambapo wawakilishi wadi na tisa walipiga kura ya kuto kuwa na imani na mama Kawira Mwangaza kisha wakamtimua mamlakani kwa kiduchu nataka niweze kufahamisha zile sababu ambazo ziliweza kufanya uh, awa wawakilishi wadi katika kaunti ya Meru kuweza kumimbitch mama Kawira muangaza kutoka mamlakani na nino mtazamaji wangu alafu tuweze kuangazia ni kipi hichi ambacho bwana Moses Kuri ameweza kukielekeza kuelekea kwa bwana naibu rais Rigathi Gachagua MCA is accused muangaza of committing seven violations which formed grounds for her impeachment au MCA so nasema kwamba mama Kawira muangaza aliweza kuenda kinyume na mambo saba ambayo waliweza kuyaorodesha na ndio iliweza kusababisha wao kuweza kumtimua mamlakani in the first count the mcs accused muangaza of misappropriation and the misuse of county resources they claimed the governor has been among others embezzling county funds using her relatives including sisters and brothers and nephews Unasikia wanasema eti kwamba mama Kawira Mwangaza amekuwa akitoa pesa za kaunti na kisha anazielekeza katika kwa dada zake pamoja na ndugu zake hivyo basi wakasema kwamba alikuwa na misius anatumia vibaya pesa za kaunti They accused the Meru governor of making withdrawals of county funds under guise of payment of various suppliers. Wanasema kwamba mama Kawira Mwangaza alikuwa anatoa hela akisingizia kwamba kuna uh, suppliers kuna miradi fulani ambayo alikuwa analipa. Na nino mtazamaji wangu? <laughs> MCS also claimed mama Mwangaza diverted county resources for personal use. Wanasema kwamba kuna mali ambayo kaunti ya uh, Meru ilikuwa imepewa na government kuweza kufanyia kazi ye kaunti ya Meru ama kuweza kuwafanyia wana kaunti ya Meru kazi lakini mali hayo yote akaelekeza katika kazi zake kibinafsi vile vile mtazamaji wangu waliweza kumwaccuse mama uh, Kawira Mwangaza for nepotism and an related and ethical practices where she is said to have employed her relatives unasikia wanasema tu kwamba mama Kawira Mwangaza alikuwa ameemploy watu wake wa karibu watu wake wa karibu kwa hivyo alikuwa na ubinafsi she also accused of taking her relatives on overseas trips in guess that they are experts. Unasikia wanasema tu kwamba mama Kawira Mwangaza aliweza kuwachukua watu wa familia yake katika ziara ya ngambo wakisema kwamba alikuwa anasingizia kwamba wao ni wana expert wa miradi mbali mbali. Ya mwisho the MCS also alleged bullying, vilification uh, and the meaning of other leaders in the county illegal appointments and an suppression of statutory powers. Mwangaza is also accused of contempt of court illegally naming a public road after her husband without following statutory procedures. Wanasema kwamba mama Kawira Mwangaza aliweza 
kupea jina barabara akatumia jina la mme wake akaweza kupea jina barabara kisha vile vile wanasema kwamba alikuwa anawadharau viongozi wa kaunti ya Meru unanielewa mtazamaji wangu sasa tunataka tuweze kuangazia ni kitu gani hichi ambacho bwana Mose Skuria ameweza kukielekeza kwake huyu mtu ambaye anafahamika kama naibu rais kuhusiana na hii jinsi ambavyo wanasema kwamba naibu rais Rigathi Gachagua ndiye aliweza kuchochea mpaka mama Kawira Mwangaza akaweza kutolewa mamlakani kumbuka kwamba mara ya kwanza inasemekana kwamba Rigathi Gachagua aliingilia kati akaweza kusalvage akaweza kuokoa huyu mama Kawira Mwangaza asije akangolewa mamlakani kipindi kile cha kwanza kipindi ambapo uh, wale MCS kutoka kaunti ya Meru waliweza kumuimbichi. Kumbuka kwamba hii ni second term wameweza kumuimbichi pia. Unanielewa? Baada ya hawa ama baada ya Kawira Mwangaza kungolewa mamlakani, Moses Kuria ameweza kujitokeza na kusema kwamba bwana Rigathi Gachagua ndiye ameweza kuchochea mama Kawira Mwangaza kutolewa mamlakani. Eti ishara kwamba anataka awe kingpin wa mlima Kenya. Unanielewa? Sikiliza huyu jumba hapo hivyo msije mkasema kwamba ni ujumbe wangu mtazamaji wangu na kula. Bwana Moses Kuria baada ya mama Kawira Mwangaza kukua impeached, aliweza alikuja akasema hivi, I stand with Governor Kawira Mwangaza. This is an evil scheme by someone who thinks that the only way to be a Mount Kenya kingpin is to bring down other leaders not to solve the problems of our people who are getting desperate by uh, by the day history uh, will vindict me unaniona mtazamaji wangu huyu ni Moses Kuria ambaye ameweza kusema kwamba huyu ameweza kusema kwamba Rigathi Gachagua inaonekana kwamba yeye ndiye ameweza kufanya nini ameweka mkono wake kule na kisha akaweza kuhakikisha mama Kawira Mwangaza anangolewa mamlakani. Unanielewa mtazamaji wangu? Huyu ni Moses Kuria. Na unaelewa mtazamaji wangu ni nani ambaye anatafuta ukingpin wa Mlima Kenya? Hakuna kiongozi mwingine kutoka Mlima Kenya ambaye anatafuta ukingpin wa Mlima Kenya isipokuwa Rigadi Gachagua. Kwa hivyo Moses Kuria ameweza kuelekeza la wama zake na kuweza kumwambia Rigadi Gachagua wewe ndio umeweza kuchochea mpaka mama Kawira Mwangaza ameondolewa mamlakani inaonekana kwamba maybe aliweza kuwalipa MCS ama akaweza kuwalipa watu waweze kumkataa mama Kawira Mwangaza na nielewa mtazamaji wangu ama ama kuna kiongozi mwingine mwenye anataka king, kingship ya mlima Kenya isipokuwa Rigadi Gachagua si Rigadi Gachagua peke yake na ndiye yuko ndani ya serikali. Kwa hivyo haya maneno yote yameweza kutoka kwake e, bwana Moses Kuria akiyaelekeza kuelekea kwake huyu mtu ambaye anafahamika kama Rigadi Gachagua. Hata hivyo kuna rafiki wa karibu wake uh, William Samuirutu ambaye anafahamika kama Anu Alinur Mohamed yeye ameweza kukinzana na mawazo yake Mose Skuria uh, Mose Skuria ambaye anasema kwamba Rigadi Gachagua ndiye ameweza kusababisha mpaka Kawira Mwangaza ameondolewa mamlakani. Anur Mohamed ambaye ni wakili, rafiki wa karibu wake William Samuiruto, yeye ameweza kukuja kwenye mtandao wake wa X ama ukipenda Twitter na kuweza kuchapisha ujumbe ambao unasomeka hivi. CS Mythical Inturi has successfully ensured Meru County Governor Kawira Mwangaza has been impeached by the Meru County Assembly. All 59 MCS have voted to remove Mwangaza 10 MCS were absent. Unasikia katika bunge la Meru ambalo lina wa, wanabunge ama MCS 69 59 walipiga kura wakitaka mama Kawira Mwangaza aondolewe mamlakani. 10 of them wakakuwa wamekosekana bungeni yani waliweza kujificha hawakuweza kufika bungeni it is wrong for linturi to sponsor impeachment of mwangaza because she is a woman uyo ni anur mohamed ambaye ameweza kuchapisha ujumbe kama huo 
huyu anasema eti kwamba mama Kawira Mwangaza amekuwa impeached na kutokana na kwamba CS ambaye ni wa masuala wa nini kilimo mithika linturi ndi ameweza kusababisha mpaka mama Kawira Mwangaza ameweza kuondolewa. Kwa kiduchu kuna kipindi ambapo tuliweza kusikia kwamba mama Kawira Mwangaza na huyu mithika linturi hawakukuwa na uhusiano bora, walikuwa wamekosana. Na hivi juzi mtazamaji wangu juzi kati tumeweza kuona huyu mithika linturi ameenda Meru. By the way mithika linturi anatoka upande wa Meru. Kipindi ambapo mama Kawira Mwangaza anazidi yeye kupitia shida katika kaunti ya Meru bwana Mithika Rinturi akaenda akaitisha wazee watatu wawili wakaweza kumvisha taji kwamba sasa yeye ndio msemaji wa Meru County yani Meru County spokesperson na uenda hii ndio iliweza kusababisha huyu Anur Alinur Mohamed kusema kwamba huyu uh, Mithika Rinturi ndiye ameweza kusababisha mpaka mama Kawira Mwangaza akaweza kuondolewa mamlakani upande mwingine bwana Moses Kuria yeye anasema kwamba Rigadi Gachagua ndiye ameweza kusababisha mpaka uh, Kawira Mwangaza kuondolewa mamlakani in the name kwamba anataka kuwa king, kingpin wa mlima Kenya kitu hicho mtazamaji wangu kimeweza kukashifiwa na viongozi hapa nchini ambao aswa ni akina mama na kuweza kusema kwamba viongozi ya kina mama hapa nchini wanaonewa aswa baada ya mama Kawira Mwangaza kutimuliwa mamlakani kwa duru ya pili. Kiongozi ambaye ni mama hapa nchini ambaye aliweza kujitokeza wa kwanza kabisa na kuweza kutoa kashifu zake ni mama Millicent Omanga. Aliweza kusema hivi, Governor Kawira's impeachment is very unfortunate. This is a sad day for a woman in leadership seeing a woman governor being constant targeted by people who don't think she is qualified enough to lead the great county of Meru unasikia huyu uh, Millicent Tomanga anasema kwamba kuna viongozi ambao wanalenga kabisa na kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba wamemtimua mamlakani mama Kawira Mwangaza je ni viongozi akina nani hawa mama Millicent Tomanga anatumia mafumbo kuweza kuaddress Mama mwingine ambaye ameweza kujitokeza na kuweza kukashifu kitendo cha Kawira Mwangaza kutolewa mamlakani ni gavana wa kaunti ya Kirinyaga Mama Ani Waiguru. Ameweza kusema hivi, I stand with my with you my sister governor Kawira Mwangaza. It is darkest before dawn. Look to the hills from where whens you help comes from. There is God in heaven. Huyu governor wa kaunti ya Kirinyaga mama Ani Waiguru yeye ameweza kumtia moyo amemwambia kwamba wewe angalia mlimani mwaachie maneno yako yote mwaachie Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu Mwenyezi Mungu yupo atakuepusha. Je, mtazamaji wangu, kulingana na mama, maneno yake Moses Kuri ambaye ameweza kusema kwamba uh, Deputy President Rigadi Gachagua ndiye ameweza kuchochea mpaka Kawira Mwangaza kuondolewa mamlakani. Alaf Alinur Mohamed yeye ameweza kusema kwamba Linturi ndiye ameweza kusababisha mpaka mama Kawira Mwangaza kuongolewa mamlakani. Which is which? Wewe unaona ni nani ambaye ameweza kusababisha mpaka mama Kawira Mwangaza kuongolewa mamlakani? Je, wewe unahisi kwamba Moses Kuria ndiye sasa ndi truthful men amba ameweza kujitokeza na kuweza kufichua siri kwamba Rigadi Gachawa anampiga vita Kawira Mwangaza na sasa hivi ameamua kwamba Kawira Mwangaza aweze kuongolewa mamlakani kwa sababu do you remember Moses Kuri aliweza kutuambia kwamba kipindi kile ambapo alikuwa ni waziri wa trade aliweza kutuambia kwamba mafuta yatakuwa yanaongezeka bei kwa shilingi kumi kumi mpaka mwezi wa tatu mwaka ujao ndipo sasa mafuta hayo yataanza kuteremka kuteremka tukaona Rigadi Gachawa akaweza kumconfront akamu ingilia na akahakikisha kwamba ametolewa katika wizara ile ya trade akachukuliwa katika wizara ya utumishi wa umma yani public service ministry upande mwingine Anuri anasema kwamba Linturi ndiye ameweza kusababisha wewe unaona kwamba ni nani ambaye ameweza kuchochea hapa katikati eh, mama Kawira Mwangaza kuondolewa mamlakani ama kuna vita ambavyo vinaendelea ndani ya serikali kati ya bwana Gachawa pamoja naye Moses Kuria hivyo kila kitu kikitokea wanalaumiana 
sema nasi na rejea na mingi zaidi jina langu nafahamika kama Mr Eagle Eight ama ukipenda Eagle Ezra tafadhali usiondoke bila ya kupiga subscription manake subscription yako moja inachangia kwenye ukuaji wa kitu hiji wa kitu hichi ili kiendelee kugrow kila siku sicheze mbali bye bye tupatane kwa kanda ijayo